Okay, I get it. I'm ugly. I know this. I've been called ugly for my entire life. A lot of you pointed this out, and the truth is, you're right. I've just been alone for so long that I just kind of accepted that that's the way it would always be. And I just tried to be happy alone, even though a lot of the time I'm not. Hey girl, I just want to say that you're not ugly, for one. Even that might be the opinion of a lot of people. But I'm going to tell you how to overcome this little problem. Okay, life is short. And of course, you don't want to spend your life not feeling attractive. You don't want to spend your life not being loved or having to not feel comfortable. Um, having your friends or other people not even want to be your friends because you're considered not beautiful. It's a simple way. The world is a big place and there's a lot of places where you are absolutely the prize. Okay, there are places. Go where you are celebrated. It might not be America because their standard of beauty might be different. But there are places in parts of the world, in Asia, in Africa, in the Caribbean, where a successful man would be happy to have you because you are so rare where he's from. You're so rare where he lives, he would love to have you. And people would be like, oh, you're telling them to go there for the green card, for their money, for whatever. Even if you don't have a lot of money, and you go over there, you represent the symbol of money. And whatever reason why the person sees you beautiful, because they have an image in their head, because they, whatever it is, everybody has their image of beauty. All those people who think somebody's beautiful is not a fact, because we were raised with that whole Disney World idea, or you're know, watching Disney movie, and there's an image of what beauty is. And so all these people in one part of the world have an image of what beauty is. There's other parts that have a different image. Go where that image is celebrated. Go where that you are beautiful. Go where you're going to turn heads because you are so rare that when you get there, you, that you turn people's heads. We're like, who's that? Where is she from? How did he get her? I want to know her. Where you are interesting, where your knowledge is, is, is something. Just be, because Just because you were raised in the States, you have something that most people are curious about. They've only seen the United States on TV. My suggestion is go. I'm actually in Colombia right now for the same thing. Not because I think I'm ugly, but because my value goes up in other parts of the world. So just go there if it's important to you. And I think it should be important to you because you do want to experience what it's like to be chased, to be loved, to be all these other things. And then you want to be, to be forgiven easily. All these things that beauty gives, you can still experience them in life. So that's my suggestion. This is how to overcome this problem. Okay, a bottle of water is not worth the same in different places. You go to the grocery store, it's worth one amount. Okay, you go to a restaurant, it's worth a little bit more. You go to an airport, a bottle of water is worth twice, three times as much. Okay, so it's not the bottle of water. The bottle of water is the same. It should not take it personally. It should just know that I may be move somewhere where it's easier for me to be beautiful, to reach my goals, to experience the life I want to experience. Okay, so that's my suggestion to you. If anybody's missing out there that can relate to this beautiful woman, just know that there's a solution. Life is long and there's a lot of life to live out there. There's a lot of life. So go get it. My name is Dan Nzinga. If you need coaching around this matter, send me a message, um, hit me up, text me, WhatsApp me. I'll be there.